to Nontrebo Zikode. I hope I said that right. <laughs> and she is the singer-songwriter of the smash hit Jerusalem with, oh my goodness, the hit maker, <laughs> Master KG. Welcome Nontrebo. Say hi to everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. Hello, hello, everyone. This is fantastic. Thank you so much yet again for being here. It is, it hasn't really been that long, actually. Let, let's just go over the timeline for a second um, and talk about the Jerusalem story, talk a little bit about your music, how you got here, where you came from, and all of that. So uh, let's start from the very beginning. Can you tell us a little bit about your life, how you got into singing? Have you always been someone who has wanted to sing and, and come into the house music world? Yeah, let's start from oh, the very beginning. Yes, uh, I've been singing um, since I think I was eight years old. I'm not too sure whether eight or nine, but around there, I remember I used to scream uh, outside uh, home and my neighbors used to like, hey, stop it, you are making noise. But I couldn't care less because with me, I just love music. I was just doing something that I loved so much. I didn't know that there will be this time whereby uh, everyone is singing to something that is written by Nomdevo or is, is dancing to my voice. Oh yeah, yes. And then after that, I joined uh, choirs at school. Uh, I remember, I think I was doing grade 10. I joined a choir at school. Um, yeah, and then it became, it became a norm that uh, when there's a choir maybe around uh, my place, like my hood, I would go there and then sing with them. And then after that, after my matric, I, I, I did um, auditions. And then uh, lucky enough, I won those auditions. Those auditions, they helped me to, 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 to become a baking singer for big artists here in South Africa. Uh, artists like late, um, uh, late Fiso Nwane, late Lundi Jamara, also uh, Mam Deborah Fraser. Uh, and then later on, I think 2010, if I'm not mistaken, I joined Nkantla of Mafigi Zolo. And then I joined Zahara as well. They are also big artists here in, 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 in South Africa. So I think that journey also led me to uh, also and um, sing with uh, DJs because there's a song I did with DJ Kanyani called Emma Zulini. That was a big song here in South Africa. Hence, Masakechi called me and he was like, My sister, you know what? I love your voice. I need to do something with you because of that song, Smash Hits, you did with DJ Kanyani. So then, Masakechi called me. He was like, you need to come to studio. I was like, no, 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 not today. It's already late. He was like, no, you come today. Hence, we did Jerusalem at night. It was around 10, 11, if I'm not mistaken. And in studio, uh, I remember I was like, no, man. I don't know whether I was feeling tired or what. I was like, no, give me the beat. I'll do this at home. Or maybe I was not trusting myself. You know, when you're at home, you've got all the time to scratch whatever that you you remove, what you don't like, you like mm -hmm. no cut and paste. And he was like, hey, you're not going anywhere. Are you, are you not the one who wrote that song of uh, Emma Zulini? I was like, yeah, it's me. Then he was like, no, then write this one. I was like, okay, give me some time go out, let me play like the song, like maybe like for two, two, three times, uh, or maybe four times, something surely would come out. And then, yes, I was like, Jerusalem, Ikayalami, Gilondolose, Uhambenami. <laughs> the rest is history. Everyone is dancing to the song. It's so beautiful. Your voice, have you, okay, so, you were in choirs and everything, and this is a, a gospel-inspired song. Are you a Christian? Is there is there a belief in God behind this? Is that where your voice is coming I from? I believe in God 100%, actually not even, maybe 100 and something, or 108, I don't know, a million <laughs> times. Like, I love God so much. And I think one of the things, uh, my music is, has the thing of gospel, I think it's because of my background. Like, I've been doing backings for gospel singers. And trust me, with this one, now that I've joined uh, house music, I didn't want to drag that uh, experience of mine of gospel and put it here. I wanted to sing house, like strictly house. I remember people were like, 
also this is a gospel track trust me i felt like maybe they are embarrassing me or something i used to be like no it's not a gospel track this is house <laughs> I, yeah, but I'm, I think I'm happy that people are loving it. And I think also it's because the beats of Master Katie were amazing. The way, like, when I listened to them, like I had goosebumps all over my body. Like I could feel that, you know what, this is for me because I love special music. Like I love music that touches hearts, touches souls. So I was so happy that he called me for this particular song. Mm -hmm. And it's an amazing song, obviously. I mean, we've heard and seen videos, the, the Jeris Jerusalem uh, dance challenge in Spain, in the Americas, you know, it, it's huge. And so for you to be on this track as well, I mean, I have so many, many, many questions. Um, let's go to, to when it was released. At first, so what we know about house music and the way that it's been released, it's not usually on your app. Apple Music, your Spotify, your sort of DSPs and streaming platforms, first of all. So you guys released this song last year towards the end independently, right? Yes, we released the song last year uh, around November. But then before we released the song like properly, uh, like maybe uh, in radios and all of that, we together with Master KG, we, 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 I don't know whether should I call it a release or what of some sort, because we, we, we went to Facebook live. Mm -hmm. We sang for people, uh, I think it was uh, October, I think so. So everyone on that live, they were loving the song, they were commenting, everyone was happy. So yeah, that's how it happened. And it happened at night around 11, uh, everyone was, was happy. I remember uh, after we, 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 we we, we sang the song yesterday to tomorrow I got home I think around one and then in the morning I went to I went to to gym and normally after maybe like doing the music tomorrow or maybe at night I used to put earphones just to listen how is the music sounding like I remember on my way to the gym I I, I, I listened to this song uh, 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 on the car I was like trust me I you know, people will tell you something and you'll be like, ah, oh, these ones, like they, they are starting or whatsoever. Trust me, God visited me that day, my angel. Like I felt goosebumps all over my body. Like I was like, oh God, what are you saying to me? Like I felt like crying. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a big song. What are you saying? Like I felt like God was shaking me, was like, I don't know, like, I don't know how can I put it so that you can understand. And I was like, mm. same time, God, you visited me. Please do the same thing. Visit Masakechi the way you visited me. There's something about this song because sometimes you find that you do a song for a DJ and then they will sleep on it. The song, maybe the, maybe he won't even put it on, 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 on his, um, his uh, CD or something. But then God is good because Master KG called me. I think I think after two days or three, he called me. He was like, Nom Tebo, my sister, there's something about this song. Please come to studio. We need to finish it. And there was nothing much to finish with the song. It was just those high parts like, and then the song was done. Yeah, that's amazing. So, I mean, just the spirit hit you in that moment and you knew that it was a special song and at that time people were probably just talking about it online and you only released it officially on you had a dance challenge that went viral as well and then you only officially released it on dsps this year in, in about january and that's when things started to sort of take off internationally around that time did you have another feeling where it was just sort of like not only are south africans appreciating this but nigerians are as well you know, people from all over the continent are saying, okay, there's this, there's something here and there's a spirit that's hitting everybody and there's a domino effect that's happening, right? Um, what is it about how house music specifically and Master KG's music that is so powerful? It seems like South Africa is the place where these things happen really, really frequently. I mean, we've seen things like Gom and I'm a Piano blow up internationally the same way that your songs have been doing. And it's just, it must be a South African thing. What do you think it is about South African music that seems to be breaking these barriers? Honestly, I don't know. I think the only thing that I know is, is, is that um, we did not copy Beyonce. 
we did not copy master kg did not copy try to copy uh, jay-z we were mm. we were doing us i think that's the only reason i don't know maybe i'm wrong but i think that's the only reason because trust me uh, master kg uh, he, he he lives studio he lives music like uh, even my with me like i live music um so whatever that i was singing there it was from the heart hence it's easy for the next person to connect with it because i was just not I was, it's not something like i was just doing like you know but i was doing something from the heart you could feel it even you if you're listening to jerusalem you you you, you you've got uh, mixed emotions i think like sometimes you feel like crying at the same time you want to dance so yeah i think that's that it's because we were doing something that we love we're not trying to copy anyone we're not trying to be beyonce or jay-z but we were doing us and we not that we couldn't care less but imagine people are loving i'm singing in zulu i'm zulu from a, a kzn i'm singing my own language and to think that people from Kenya or Nigeria or America or London or Italy, they, they are able to connect with, with, with whatever that I was saying on the song, even though they don't understand what am I saying. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think what's important is to love your craft, you respect it, um, you do you. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, absolutely, Preach. And another thing is, you and Master KG are 50-50 on this song. It's huge. And the way that these things uh, often go is that the women and vocalists are usually just sort of plonked on top and they're, they're featuring and they're kind of on the side. And the DJs in South Africa, particularly, I think, as producers as well, get most of the limelight and then everyone else are kind of like jewelry on the song. But you haven't done that this time. You've protected yourself. You've got your piece. You wrote the song. How, can you tell us a little bit about how you made sure that this is something that you could you could earn, you could own as yours and as Master KG's and still sort of take to the world. My angel, you know what, <laughs> I've been so bubbly, but I think you, you want me to cry now because <laughs> honestly, that is so touching. Trust me, I've been in this industry for more than 15 years as a baking singer. I've been trying to be at the top. And I've been telling people that I know this, I can do this. I've been trying to knock everywhere. Like, I don't want to say much, but you know exactly what is happening. Like, I'm happy that you know that we do songs for DJs and we end up like uh, as nobody. We write beautiful songs, we end up like nobody. But I don't know, maybe it's God this time because I was praying so much. I remember there was a time whereby I felt like maybe taking my head, like put it here next to me so that my body, I can feel like I can be happy, like I can be free because I had so much stress because of what you've done, you, you've just uh, touched. Because sometimes you do beautiful music with DJs, you end up uh, like you, you are just a nobody. Like your singing or maybe your writing is just like, you know. So I was praying, praying and praying and praying. I remember I was saying to God, God, you know how I grew up. This is the only thing that I have. I don't have, even now, I thank God that I can even communicate with you in English because the way I grew up, even the schools that I was attending, it was not good schools. But God is amazing because even now I'm able to, to communicate with you in English. Like, um, and I'm also, uh, uh, how can I put it? Like I'm, I'm, I'm shaking shoulders with uh, top people to show that it doesn't matter where you come from, but what matters is where you're going. So I've been praying for this. I said to God, God, one day I will die. What am I going to say to you if you're not allowing me to sing for the world? This is the only thing that I have. I see there are people, there are teachers out there, there are lawyers out there, and I don't have all of that. Mm -hmm. Help me, I need to do this. Then why you gave me this talent if you're not going to help me and sing for the world? And then this is exactly God what 
did for me. As much as this song is Master KG, I'm a featured act, but trust me, uh, I got so much recognition because of this song. Hence today, I'm here talking to you and there are so many doors that are opening because of this, uh, this song. And you know what? God said to me, Nomtebo, maybe you were praying only for South Africans to hear your music. You know what? I will play a film for you. This song will be global. Like everyone will be playing this song. You'll be receiving calls from uh, 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 pastors. You'll be receiving calls from people out. You know, I've been receiving calls from people. You could see that maybe people that, that are from Iraq or something, they'll be like, hey, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And they'll be like, ha, ha, ha. I'll be like, oh, I don't understand your English, your, your, your language. Uh, please uh, speak in English. And they don't understand English at all. But they, they love English. Jerusalem so much. They, they will even like ask me, what's the meaning of this song? Why you wrote this song? And some of them, they like, we can't communicate. So you know what I do? Like maybe I sing for them. I'll be like, Jerusalem, I could see their joy in their eyes. And sometimes, trust me, I cry because I'll be like, God, like you chose me. Like you, you've answered my prayers. After these years praying, like, thank you so much that I did not, because you know, someone could have maybe, uh, maybe I could have like just um, leave everything and maybe become a prostitute. I'm not saying I'm judging them, but the way that it was so tough, trust me, it was very, 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 very tough. But I, I, I stood, I stood, I stood, I stood. Here I am today. Um, yeah, I thank God. I oh, thank God. I'm so happy for you. And I'm so glad that this happened. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible story. And I feel like we're going to see so much more from you. And it's, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. It's crazy. Um, let's talk a little bit about, especially linked to the theme this year of African unity. We see Burner Boy now has taken up the mantle and jumped on this song as well. And that's also propelled it into a different sort of landscape. Let me just point out, I am a very big Burner Boy fan, but I don't think that he needed to be there because the song was a banger and you killed it. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> it was no, already man, uh, and was another yeah. layer. <laughs> uh, I think, you know what Master Keiji was trying to do with this one? I'm not too sure though, now that he's not here, I'm trying to think that maybe he was trying to show that as African, we need to unite. You know, we can do something beautiful together. It doesn't mean that maybe you're from Nigeria or this racism thing. We need to forget about it. We need to show people that as, mu as musicians, we, we, we are here to lead them. We are here to show them what's right. So by them seeing, seeing us uh, at, um, doing features with people from Nigeria, they will maybe starting to understand that we are all one, we are all black. We should love one another. Even if you are white, we are all human beings. So I think that that's why maybe Master Keiji wanted a Burner Boy to be on board, not because of um, maybe he wanted something better than that, because the song was already trending, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I think that adding another African act to the song really, really just sort of drives home the, the idea of the unity and the power that we have as a continent. If we can do more of this, because we're seeing a lot of people who are crossing over Afrobeats and I'm a piano artist. We've got Shasha, who's also doing amazing things from Zim, working with Maporisa. You know, you've got Trezo, who's also doing something with Maporisa. We've got you guys, everyone seems to be catching on to the fact that if we work together, we can do so much more. Do you feel like that's the key to maybe more, more young women who want to sing and have been asking God for that big break, who want to be able to just come out into the world? Do you think that working with other African artists and, and making plans for the future will be the thing that elevates a lot more of our stars and can bring us to the world and bring us out of this poverty that we're feeling, especially on the back of COVID and the way that the country has been trying to grow from apartheid era poverty and struggle? Yeah, you know, uh, now I won't talk about, I, I, I won't concentrate on, on musicians. I mm. think as black people or as people, Jay, we need to, to try by all means to, to, how can I put it? Like we need to try by all means a, a figure out what, what is it exactly that you can do. There are so many things like 
like we we are different in so many ways like we, we we've got so many uh, different talents you need to take your craft uh, craft very serious so in this pandemic of COVID-19, instead of maybe crying and complaining, I think this is the time for you to stand in your corner and check what exactly can I uh, uh, maybe uh, gain or maybe what is it that I can do so that I can um, like upgrade myself so that I can become a better person. It can be whether you want to become, whether you, 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 you are in a music industry, you can use this time and be uh, like maybe write many songs. If you are a makeup artist, you can like try by all means, you check on YouTube, you check what people are doing there. So like, I think this is the time for all of us to do something for ourselves so that we can be, we can better uh, our whatever that we have. So, yeah, I think so. Fantastic. And please, please tell us a little, little bit about your album coming up. I mean, what can we expect from it? Are there any surprises? Oh my darling, you know, God is amazing. <laughs> like God, 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 God is good. I'm already topping the charts. Like I'm number one on the charts or radio on April, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm number one. Like God is amazing, has answered my prayers. Um, I've got a single out. The single is out and people are loving it. Trust me, it's already trending. And, and then the album is coming out midnight. So yeah, people can just go there, go there, go there and stream it, download it. Like, you know, people have been giving me support since I've been uh, doing songs with DJs. They are like, there's another song that I did. So people have been supporting me. This is my time. Guys, I love you all. Please, please, please. I'm pleading you, please do support me on this one. And uh, they are, I've worked with Master KG. Uh, I've worked with Mr. Brown as producers. I've, I've worked with um, uh, Makati. I featured Makati on one of the songs. I've worked with um, Miss um, Bongo Beats. Yeah, the, the album is amazing. Trust me, there are songs like Please check it out. Like <laughs> next time when I'm talking to you, Tell me, Nomtebo, your album is too nice. I've downloaded it. I will definitely do that. Trust me, I hope we get to talk again. Thank you so much for joining us today. It is so lovely to see you looking beautiful and radiant and happy. And this is the way that I hope a lot more artists can look in the future. Appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much, you so my angel. It was lovely talking to you. You are amazing. It's a pity we are. I wish like I can give you a hug already. <laughs> You know, one day, one day in real life, after you've you've gotten to that star again the next time for your album. We'll meet Thank each other. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lavi. Thank you. Take care. Same to you. <laughs> All right. How are we doing this, Ben? <laughs>